kid and you're asking like, what do we do about is you sign a contract with someone? So real quick, before you did that, did you more than 30 years i got my real estate license in the um, and your your origin story is that he uh, he made an age joke the last time we were uh, i'm gonna i'm gonna use that kuka you know I, i'm a little more strict with what i'm i'm looking at uh what are the most common mistakes that most wholesalers make one underestimating the rehab value the rehab rehab estimate and two thinking that they can overlist the price and still get an offer like this was back in 2021 or 2022 okay as well as as well as three they don't walk the property and they don't listen to other people's feedback other investors feedback if you list a property too high, an investor's not even going to give you feedback or take another look, okay? If it's borderline, they'll at least come to you and ask, and say, hey, this is what I would pay for it. This is, this is where we need to be because of X, Y, Z, okay? You need to get as much of that feedback as possible so you can not only do it for this deal, but for the future deals. And you need to take and learn from that process. If you don't learn from that process, you will not be a good wholesaler. You will lose all your buyers. You will not have properties coming in because as every property, if you get it locked up too high and try to sell it too high, you're not going to sell it okay so key thing to you is understanding the the rehab estimate okay understanding the different strategies that a buyer does use whether it be fix and flip buy and hold airbnb midterm rentals um you know anything like that okay so as a wholesaler, we have to know every different strategy. And this is the reason why I'd sell people, a wholesaler is a stepping stone to being a real investor, okay? Maybe I use that term real investor loosely, but you build generational wealth by holding properties, okay? Not by wholesaling them. But wholesaling them and fix and flip, that's now money that you can learn from. And you learn from every deal that you do. Then the buy and holds is the generational wealth money. And you need, you, you still make money on the buy side. You still need to buy everything right. Okay? If not, what are you going to do? Okay? You're going to lose money. Or as a wholesaler you're not going to sell the property or you're going to alienate alienate your investors and they're not going to want to deal do deals with you okay integrity is the other portion integrity for a wholesaler is everything okay i try to be as upfront and honest with people as much as possible i may not come out and say the exact words that I'm talking about because they may not know the terminology. For instance, if I, I'm not going to sit here and tell a seller that I'm going to wholesale a property because he doesn't know what wholesaling is. You tell a seller, hey, I have partners that are that I may uh, have them purchase the property, okay? But I have we have a bunch of different strategies. We may fix and flip. We may buy and hold. We, you know, I may have another investor come in and, and take over the property. Um, whatever the case may be, I ensure the seller that whatever we agree upon is exactly what you're going to get. If that is the case, they all they say is, well, as long as what we promised is what I'm going to get, I really don't care. All right. Awesome. Because of that, I'm going to need access to the property to have my... Uh, contractors come through get some bids things like that and they understand especially if they're tiger landlords and they 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 understand this whole thing 
the problem becomes is if they get the whiff of you trying to uh, deceive them. If they think a little bit that you're trying to deceive them or trying to get one buy on them, you're going to have, it's going to be a horrible deal going all the way through. Okay. So be honest about what you're doing and what your intentions are. Okay. And get feedback, learn from every single deal. Every single deal that I've done, I've learned from. Whether it go through the title process or whether it be talking to the seller or whether it be just issues coming up where the basement floods because we had a storm or whatever, trying to get over that with the buyer and the seller, okay? And I've had those happen to me. So you will too. And keep watching our videos, subscribe to our channel, and we'll see you on the next one. There was once a day that I would pray for you. I'd go and misbehave just so you'd notice too. Sneaking looks up and down from across the room.